Strip the conductor insulation approximately two and a half inches and clean the conductor ends using your company's approved cleaning procedures and materials. Remove the connector from the package and place the tap wire or subscriber wire in one groove of the C. Place the other groove of the C over the through or hot wire and hold in position with one hand. Place the wedge into position between the two conductors and push in place with the locking boss facing you. The wedge can be tapped with the pliers to snug it in position. Tapping the wedge firmly between the conductors will reduce the pressure required for final termination. Check to ensure the conductors are in proper position in the C and wedge grooves. The connection is now self-supporting and both hands are free to set the pliers ready for connector assembly. When the plier handles are in the closed position, the opening of the plier jaws should be slightly less than the length of the C member. Position the pliers across the back of the connector with the tab on the narrow end of the C placed two-thirds of the way back on the teeth of the plier's lower jaw. The upper jaw of the pliers is placed on the wide end of the wedge and the frame of the plier jaws parallel to the back of the C. Squeeze the pliers, driving the wedge into the C until the locking boss on the wedge snaps into the inspection window. If the locking boss is not visible in the inspection window, reposition the pliers and squeeze until the wedge is in the proper position.